Welcome to Dark Matters. This is Dark Matters. Live. Live. The only existing show on the Pack Theater Twitch channel. Mm, a chaotic Roll seems to be uh, seems to be uh, competing with us. Chaotic Roll. Live. Oh, there's Chaotic new... Roll. Are they back? I I suppose. Oh, we're so close to owning the channel. How do we how do we get rid of chaotic role? Not that we want to get I rid say of it per se. It, it seems to be a um semi monthly. Does semi mean every two months? You know like how bi is very confusing? Yes. Bi monthly means twice a month, but semi monthly I suppose would therefore mean every other month. But bi annual But bi weekly. Bi weekly mm -hmm. means every two weeks. Mm -hmm. But biannual means twice a year. Yeah. None of this makes sense. None of this makes sense. Uh, if you want to complain why this doesn't make any sense, give us a call. The phone number is 818-650-DARK. Uh, we've got the pals. We've got Hunty. We've got Ice Cream Cone. We've got Nightbot. Got, we've got a. There we go. Who else could you even need? Hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah, you, 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 speaking of, of the last show, did you see Rich Rich Strike win the uh, win the Kentucky Derby? I didn't. What does that have to do? Oh, that's just because it was eighty to one or something. Is eighty to one? It was quite quite the long odds. Yeah. Um. We should have gambled on that. We should have. It it seems like uh, this one win by the longest by the the you know horse the longest odds uh, validates a lifetime strategy of just betting on every horse with <laughs> yeah. over fifty to one odds. Yeah. I once That's... during the what's the one in Long Island? Is it the pre oh, the Belmont? Uh, I think. It is the Belmont. I think the Preakness is in Baltimore. Yeah, the like Preakness that. is in Baltimore. Okay, I just forgot which was which. I um, one year we went to the Belmont Stakes, and they, I had the su the Superfecta order, sure. an exact order. Which sure. How paid, much? Which would have the total pot for everyone who had the Superfecta was two two million dollars. And so I would have split. So coming around the corner, I had the exact superfecta literally into wow. the last turn coming around the corner. And then I believe Barbara was the horse that year. It was like the famous Hell horse. Yeah. And come right around. And I had him in second place, I think is where he was. And he broke his leg like <laughs> oh, a shit. few hundred feet away from the thing. So I went from having like several hundred thousand dollars to zero. Did they it was murder crazy. him in, in front of your eyes? What? No, but... Did they but murder him? I don't know, because that, that jizz is worth a lot. That jizz is worth a lot. But, you know... Barbara for whatever Horse. Reason, Barbara Horse. Only lived less than four years. But he probably concocted a lot of jizz. In his time. Oh no! It was the preak the preakness. That's what it was. The preakness. All right. Come on, get down with the preakness. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't Barbaro, because it was definitely at the Belmont. It was at the Belmont Stakes. That's, it was in know? Long Island. Look, if you know if you know what the answer is to what Frankie did during his life, you call us up. You tell us what Frankie did. Six five zero, dark. That's three two seven five. There's, there's some chance that you know Frankie's life better than he does. There's some Probably. chance. Probably. Hold on, I gotta look up these. What year? If I look up the winners, I bet I can figure out what year. Does anybody care? Okay. Mm -hmm. it was in two thousand. Oh, a fleet Alex. So it was two thousand five. The two thousand five Belmont Stakes. That's right. Giacomo won the Kentucky Derby, which is Giacomo. Really... Giacomo. Here comes Giacomo. That's right. Mm. Let me see. Oh, 
Hunter, were there are there also pony? I'm I'm just reading your comment in the channel. Are there also pony rides at the 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 Belmont Stakes or at the yeah? That's what. Okay, so it wasn't the one where it wasn't the one where uh, Barbaro broke his leg. That I watched on TV. This was Giacomo, which was like the favored horse. It just like at the end, just like fucking just died. Like it just he he was like leading the whole race and then just ran out of gas. That's right. Was I had like nine five seven one or something. Ah, <sighs> what are you gonna do? Could have been rich. The overhead MC skins coming into the chat. Seek out the overhead angle of the end of today's race. It's true. I, I, that's why I raised it is because the overhead angle uh, is the video of today's race that I saw and it is impressive even if you know uh, what which everybody at this point uh, in the chat does the aerial view okay here we go here it is on Twitter do you know we have a Twitter Milo no I logged into it today <laughs> or this week I logged into it you're not you're not going on a bunch of you know, frankly porn Twitter accounts and liking the the porn that's posted on Twitter, are you? No, I forget why I needed Twitter. I needed to stalk somebody probably. Okay, mm -hmm. let's look at this. Let's capture this window. We can watch this together. All right, here we go. Wow, yeah, I want it that big. Hell yeah. All right, here that we is go. what she said. What if I... Nope, I don't want it full screen. That's not helping anybody. Okay, let's just play it. This is just... Is it... Yeah. Wait, hold on. Put, let's add some audio in here. There is some audio. There is some audio to it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> cool. It's very cool. That was cool. Wow, oh, some rich asshole was really happy. Yes. <laughs> yes, horse. it is. It's how much money would you have to have before you would own a horse? Oh God! Like, how much does a horse cost? Right? It's like it's basically like one hundred times the cost of a horse. How much? Do, oh, you mean maintenance? Yeah, just like I mean, like, like how much money could I? But honestly, like, I I wouldn't like. I would feel very bad just wasting, you yeah. know. A racehorse costs like about $75,000. Yeah, so if I had 100 times that, that'd be $7.5 million. Several thousand um, a month for upkeep and training is what this says. No, sorry. It would be $75 million. $75 million sounds about right. That sound, that's a ridiculous amount of money. Mother of Goblin is a great point. Oscar is very short for his age. He he is very short. He's like not quite jockey short, but he's pretty short. Like, mm -hmm. should we be prepping him right now and getting him into horse racing, getting him up on there? I, I feel like jockeys are are like in many ways degenerates. Degenerates. Like I, uh, yes. 
jock horse yes. jockeys horse jockeys what makes you think they're degenerate like i feel like they like they're whipping horses fast. all day no i don't you know that's their thing um uh because they're just around they're always around gambling so people are always and trying to get to them so they have to be pure I no, I think it's the opposite. I think like they're easily gotten to, and are and are all corrupt as a result. What's the average height of a jockey? Let's see what Google says. All right, jockeys are between oh between four foot ten and five foot seven. Wow, we're golden. <laughs> average weight is one oh eight to one eighteen pounds. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, I mean half that's the almost half my weight. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the challenge of, that's of being amazing. a jockey. You know, more more eating disorders than I think they're just tiny. I don't think it's eating. Maybe it is both. Do you I'm think that's sure like an indie movie that'll come out someday about like a jockey with an eating disorder? I mean, I'd watch it. You know, as long as it says a twenty four at the beginning. The Seven Up series of documentaries. I've never watched them, even though I, I do I think have, they are interesting. I have watched them. Yes, the Loop Group. Loop Group Union is SAG, but yes, getting into the Loop Group is one of the hardest things of all time because it's it might be the easiest job on the planet. That would be a great topic for a show. What's the easiest job on the planet? Oh, man. That would be easy. We could talk to people who like... have been working multiple like you know or other, I don't know well, like uh, what is the easiest job what's the easiest job you've ever had mom. I hear it's I hear it's mom yeah um, let's say that'll I, be a popular boys are the mom is the mom is the easiest job laser tag arena guy what's the easiest job you ever had by low easiest job I ever had hmm oh, my arm hurts I'm such a baby. I got my um, second booster shot today because I'm going to go visit my dad who had a kidney transplant. Yeah. So I you got, are a baby. And my arm is sore. Wah. Anyway. Um, easiest job I ever had was I think as a as a consultant, as like a, a data science consultant back in 20, uh, 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. Um and i quit because i was so bored um they sent me to they sent me to like a a conference but the conference was actually like a junket like it was there was nothing to learn it was just this one guy trying to sell his like sell the worst piece of software i've ever you know seen what, in existence what, was, what kind of software was it it was um you know it was quote unquote unquote artificial intelligence um software um that's yeah i mean it was this guy like claiming that he was doing artificial intelligence when like he was not um and that's that's what that company was um uh and that company's name is Brighterian, in case anybody wants to look them up. like the Brighterian yeah. collection. Like the Bright, like the Brighterian collection, except except with the uh, you know spelled correctly. Uh, bright, like the word uh, bright. Brighterian, um, a Mastercard company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now owned by Mastercard. Um, Why? But they want to figure out what to do with people's transaction data. What are they doing with my like transaction their- data? Um, you know, trying to determine what you will buy, basically. For the for the most part, that's the that's the point of uh, knowing what knowing what you consume, and so they can so someone else can figure out what you will buy in the future. Yeah. The easiest job I ever had was just sitting at a desk. I was working as a temp in New York and I had one job. It was in it was in the Citibank building in Queens. Uh and they had a there was like a confusing part of the lobby that people would walk into by accident. Mm-hmm. Uh and there was a desk there. 
<laughs> so, but there was a sign on the desk that pointed you away. Like if you just looked at the desk, sure, it was like lobby this way with an arrow. So, but in case somebody got lost, they wanted somebody to just somebody in like a dress shirt to sit there and tell them where to go. Um, I think I spent like four days sitting there, and one person spoke to me. Other than that, I just sat at the desk. That's a great job. I can't imagine how it could have been easier than that. I guess I had to get there on time. So, if, oh, am I? No, okay. You're good. Uh, I feel like my audio just changed, but no, nope. it seems fine. Nope, it's good. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, that's, that's real easy. The... Uh, the job that I had, I was uh, fired from like a job that should have been my easiest job ever. Um, cause it was at a family friend's law firm. Um, <laughs> and it was the summer, it was the summer after I graduated from high school, but, um, I ended up, I ended up getting fired from that job for falling asleep <laughs> at my, at my desk. Did we ever get an update on what happened with this GoFundMe for the clubhouse that we're advertising constantly? Oh, great question. Seventeen no, thousand I mean, dollars were collected. I mean, that's that's good money. But where did it go? To, you know, help people. Oh God, my arm hurts. Oh boy. Ten nineteen. Did that, did that read? Did that read? What? Did you fart or something? That, I did fart. Yes. No. Loud. I didn't hear it. I feel That's... like your farts come through. How come Frankie's farts? Well, come you're through? so the microphone that you have is the one that we use on stage. So it's got it's a uh, hypercardioid Condenser. pattern. So it's designed oh, to reject. I like that. It's designed to reject all sound that's not directly in front of it or directly behind it. So the point I is, like if you that. hold it like you're holding it now, it wouldn't pick up the audience on the recording. Oh. And uh, this one that I have now has more like a wider pattern, so it picks up more sound from below and the sides. Mm-hmm. This is Mike Tuck. I'm here with this Mike. Is... Yeah. Uh. I feel like there are a lot of good jobs for, you know, there are a lot of good jobs that require small size, you know, minor. Minor is an is a is an honest job. Minor that, uh, requires that were... small size? I thought you minors got, you were like be... big dudes. No, minors are are small but mighty men. Um they are you, you can't be too big if you're inside of a mine. But don't they dig the mine like a certain size so that like people of average height can get in there? Oh, that's a good question. I feel like the answer is no, but I, I can't explain why. Welcome to Mike Talk. How? What's your problem with your mic? What's the problem? Oh. Hi, this is uh, Jessica. I'm calling from Waterton, Wisconsin. Waterton! <laughs> oh, I've been to Waterton. Uh, oh, ha- oh, have you? Is that over by Lemonaton? Yeah, so bad. Yeah. That's worse than car talk. It Can is. we get a blurb for a show that says worse than car talk? Car, uh, <laughs> this is car dark talk matters. Is just... Worse than car talk. Can we get Car- Terry Gross to say that? <laughs> I'm going on a trip that. next week. Yeah. Well, yeah. where are you going? Gonna go see my dad, and then uh, a, cert- a certain friend of mine is uh. getting getting out of jail, and I'm gonna go. We're gonna pick him up. <laughs> Me and his two other friends are gonna pick him up from jail, and I'm gonna film. That's. But you didn't hear something. Th- yep. That's gonna be something. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, Ice Cream Cone with a great question. Are there NPR people on Cameo? God, I hope so. Be, right? I hope I can get Audie Cornish. Oh my god, um, 
Hold on, let's bring it up. Are there any cameo instants where you can just get cameo like right away? <laughs> like you know how they're like twenty four hours? Like is there some cameo where they're just yeah. like they're online now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that would really suit For us. For when okay. you absolutely let's see. cameo. Wait. Whoa, why do we need it this big? Okay. Wait, oh, sit up and to your left a little bit. and then Sorry, this, sorry, this, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Up higher and to your left. There we go. Oh, I, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. To your left. Unless you're... Oh, your video is mirrored, so to your right, I guess. Sorry. I didn't realize we were mirrored. Oh, shit, I'm an idiot. No, 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 I am, I am an idiot. I'm just a large idiot. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right, let's see. I'm going to search for NPR. No search results found. No, boo. Uh, okay. Give mom some one-on-one -on -one time with her favorite Comedian star. You know the cameo Baden? Uh, I know who is on uh, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me sometimes. That's probably the closest That's... we'll get. That's a fun, uh, that's a fun, you know, idea of a person. What if we search for radio? Well, no. Howard Stern's whack pack. This is N. B. There's somebody called Ham Hands Bill. I mean, that sounds because he because he does ham radio. I have no idea. Will the farter? Oh, I see. Fred the Elephant Boy. King of all blacks. <laughs> Oh, Tan Mom. Uh, tan Mom? Yeah, Tan Mom. <laughs> you see Tan Mom? I uh, I remember Tan Mom. Somebody named Ball. I'm sorry, Fred Schneider as in, as in, hey, Fred Schneider, what are you doing? Is he on Whoa, here? Who, uh, no, I, Fred I mean, Schreiber. I, it's Fred the Elephant uh, Boy. I, I uh, remember okay. this from watching Howard Stern on the E, e channel when I was like 14. Boys, finally, after all this years, months, days, hours, century, whatever, I am finally on camera. So, if you we should just we should just merge our show with Howard Stern's show, <laughs> <laughs> just get cameos, just copy all of the. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm loopy. Yeah, I'm a little it is, it, tired from it, this spec scene. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, it's are Mother's you, Day in you, an hour and a half. Do you have uh, Do you have any any special Mother's Day uh, plans or, or gifts? We're getting a, a baby. Stephanie's cousin's coming over to babysit, and we're going to have dinner. Oh, yeah. At a restaurant downtown, an undisclosed restaurant downtown. Do it, I need to worry about the right. nine people watching this coming to the restaurant? Uh, I'll be there for sure. Yeah. For sure, I will be at the restaurant. Yeah, I love I love a good restaurant. Love restaurants. So that's the big plan. Like it. Made some art today. Hold on, let's see. I'll just bring up the picture on my phone. This is what happens when I try to paint with my kids. Hold on. Oscar just started painting his stomach because I had him paint with his shirt off. Because that way it didn't get on anything. This is... Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that. Here we go, here we go. Wait, what if I... Oh, oh there we he's, go. Like a, he's like a little picked... Oh, I know where I know where you're going. Well, I know one of like a handful of places that you're going. Yeah, where are we um, going? Where are we going? Uh, you're going to uh to Bestia. Yeah. Know it. That's right. 
It's a good. It's a good restaurant. I feel so low energy right now. Psych me up, Milo. Psych me up. Psych me. Get pumped. <laughs> That's the worst psych up I've ever heard. It is. It is the worst. It is the worst. I had. I came up with a great show idea this week that I shouldn't tell you because it, it's. Should I tell you what it is? No, because then it won't work. <laughs> if I tell that's you, how that's how ideas work. That's how ideas if work. If I tell you what it is, it won't work. So I can't tell you. Okay. J Pell is here. What's up, buddy? I got my second Pfizer booster shot today, and my arm hurts. That's the most exciting thing we talked about today. That's right. <laughs> And we're going for Mother's Day. We're going to Bestia. And my kids. We could do at midnight. We can do a Mother's Day art reveal. We can reveal the art uh, that the children made. I also, <laughs> I also so... made art for my mother for Mother's Day. Oh, what did you make? I made a, a wedding book. A wedding? Oh, of you, your wedding. I was like, of their wedding? That was like 80 years ago. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Call Chess Devil's mom. Uh, yeah. Call Chess Devil's mom again. How do we make this more real, Bilo? How do we make what more real? This show, like, how do we get to the real meat of everything um, right now? between like let's yeah do you care about do you care about twitter are you uh uh that where Elon where is Musk bought twitter yeah no i don't care yeah i didn't think so um where is dark where does dark matter stand on free speech let's finally get to the free bottom of it where do we stand on free speech yeah oh no chest devil's mom cried Begging him not to go to L.A. Oh, well, that's sad. L.A. is halfway. It's the whole way across the country. <laughs> not halfway across the country. It's when's the when's the last time you made your mom cry? This is dark matters. Last time I made my mom cry. Yeah, I remember when I was eight. Somebody taught me the term "gay." I didn't know what it meant. And I just went around the house saying, Mommy's gay, Mommy's gay. And I made her <gasps> really mad. Because I guess my mom's homophobic or whatever. So she just freaked out and cried and started screaming at me and hitting me with a newspaper <laughs> and telling me to stop saying that. Do you think my mom's gay, secretly? Uh, Who would I have mean, that kind of reaction? It's definitely possible. I mean, it, it you know, it's got that ring of that ring of 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 what if you know wouldn't that be shocking i don't know uh yeah i i i don't know i had a there was a dentist who who lived down the street from <laughs> yeah. us okay where's this going <laughs> i actually probably you know what that there's not that that this is just a story about a person uh, about a person in my life who turned out to be or like who who is very marginally in my life who turned out to be transgender it's not it's not oh, really anything of a story a yes um i anyway i i would say like that that probably is not at all like uh like if uh if you found out your mom was gay yeah there's a great, I don't know if you're a, a fan of the great pottery thread on, but there is a, a truly wonderful lesbian named Sal on uh, uh, the current season I'm watching. And she's like the most gifted potter and kind of looks like the actress who plays, uh, who plays Charlie's mom on uh, oh. uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Chest double, your mm. mom's awake right now. <laughs> Does she think LA is halfway across the country because she's she's actually in the Pacific time zone? <laughs> oh 
that's a grand endorsement. Well, let's try it. Let's use our non-ringing phone system and see if let's it see. works. It's exciting. The U.S. has a lot of embassies. Um, Hello. 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 Hi, we're we're uh your son told us to call you. We're calling from a show called Dark Matters. We've spoken before, I believe. This is Frankie and Michael. We have. We have. Did we wake you up? I'm so sorry. We did this time, just because I had my granddaughter with me. So oh. today was not be a good day. Not a good day. The next show will be. Yeah. All right. Well, you go. You I go back. Get up. You go back I to bed. Do. Right. Or otherwise, I would talk for sure. All right. <laughs> good night. We'll talk All soon. Right. Good night. Good night. All right. Well, there you see where the chess devil gets his devilish tendencies. Is that is that right? I have no idea. I hope so. I. What tendencies do you get from your Hold mom? Hold on. I know what. Why didn't yeah. we say Happy Mother's Day? Mother of God was uh, so right. It's Mother's Day over there. There's part of me that says it's. It, I I thought about it, but part of me is like, it's not my mom. It's it's Isn't inappropriate it to. It's inappropriate. I, a part of it is like, if we were had a nice call to a mother, I would say yes. But this is a call at 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 two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Ice cream cone uh, says, wake her. Up. He wants us to call her back and wake wake uh, her up again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna call her back. This is terrible. Mother <laughs> Ram says don't call her back. <laughs> She's not gonna pick up. Wait, no, hunty, no. It's not. She's not gonna pick up. <laughs> She's probably so mad. I mean, it's I ringing. It's ringing. I, ugh, I need that ring, ring sound effect. No, we could be. Please leave your message yes. for well, eight. This will be six, perfect. Do you want to leave the message, three, Michael? Three, five, nine, nine, eight, two. Oh no! Sorry, uh, mailbox is full. It's okay. To send an SMS in the chat. notification, Hilarious. press five. Mailbox is full. Oh. To send an SMS notification. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's I mean, now Day. We bothered you twice. Yeah, if you want, we you can call our show and we'll leave you a Mother's Day message. You can have Michael yeah. Vilo as a as a gift. <laughs> uh, you can win Michael Vilo on your, on your answering. mom's answering machine. <laughs> That's our Mother's Day prize uh, for winning for winning the Dark Matters quiz. Uh, oh, I feel so. I feel this is what happens to me when I get the COVID vaccine is I just feel very sluggish. Yeah, I well, I mean, whatever. I've I am in bed for like a whole day and feel like I'm gonna die. So oh, I have really? No yeah. Oh, this isn't so bad then. Yeah. I mean, I think it's uh, I think it's uh, uh, you know, the more times the more times you have to do it, like, uh. The di the more difficult. The, I mean, whatever. It's how it, it is. It can. Yeah. Is that all three? Expose yourself. To... All three times for you. Was uh, that not the first, but the second and the third were oh. both uh, really bad. Are you a Moderna boy. Uh, I'm a Pfizer boy. Oh, all me too. three Pfizer's. Interesting. They, almost... <laughs> they say they they yeah. say Moderna is more. It, it's it, good to to mix and match your jabs. It's good to get a Moderna if you've had uh, all Pfizer's and. The guy gave me the choice to do it today, and I was like, I was like, I don't know. I'll just get the one that was in there before. <laughs> Even though they're basically identical. Yeah. The great granddaughter of the Pigeon Forge city manager. That's exciting. That is a, that's a fun career. I'm excited. You know, I might not look at or be city. excited, but I am. Should we talk about Forrest Fenn? Let's talk about Forrest Fenn. Got an email and his treasure. from American Express. It's not interesting. Somebody in my house has ordered DoorDash. I see. I see what's happening here. 
You got to tell Reggie that he's, he can't, he can't Reggie, keep ordering it's DoorDash. It's 10.30. No DoorDash, Reggie. It's, to, it's time for bed. It's time for bed. Reggie took he, his first he steps. Said any... His first steps unassisted ah! this week. That happened. That was fun. Oh. Is he saying more words? Is he saying more words? Today, so uh, Mother of Gribelin was hanging out. You know, it's Mother's Day weekend. Um, so she was sure. So you know, she was resting this morning, and she you know she had like a mommy day today. So I was hanging out with the boys, and you know I counted from one to ten with Reggie. He knows the numbers from one to ten. Amazing. Which I guess it's pretty early for him to know that. Um, and then I put him down. And I was just like scrolling on my phone and I heard him go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I was like, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> I picked him up. And he knew. Yeah, he counted a tw- he counted from 10 to 20 on his own too. I was like, okay. I didn't teach you Aww. that. I don't know where he learned that from. 15. Aww. But he's a baby, so it's very yeah. um, it's hard to hear what he's saying. So as he's going like 13, 14, 15. 15, 17. I was like, what the f... Yes, he that comes out to 20. I found very that today. Cute. He's supposed to be able to know, like, a handful of words or something, so... I don't know. My boys... My boy is in their language. They good, love it. Good with their language. Oscar can read in Spanish now. See. He has, like, a perfect... I think his preschool teacher is teaching him. Because his accent is, like, perfect. He's like, I can't even do it. He's like, I'm a heel. That's, oh. like, that's language, Hunter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mother of Garland's reminding me as I was changing his diaper, he grabbed his balls and said, balls. <laughs> <laughs> balls. I mean that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. No matter no matter what age. Oh, I should take this band aid off my arm. That doesn't need to be there anymore. Oh yeah, get that on, Mike. Can use that as a. Yeah. Ooh, it's a it's a terrifying. It's not a it's not a great sound. Did that come through? Did that come across? Uh, I think so. We did the last uh, sound mix for Barry yesterday, and we were just going through the sound effects, and one, the producer was like, what's that sound? That sound was really gross. And they like looked at what sound effect they used, and the name of the sound effect was Pitbull Eating a Duck. <gasps> ah! <laughs> and we were like, what the fuck? They are like, we don't know. It's just called Pitbull Eating a Duck. Um... I have no Bruno does like want to kill um he wants to kill uh cats and he wants to kill um he want he did he definitely wants to kill cats and he wants to kill squirrels but he's too slow and frankly dumb to to do either of those um but what he has been able or like the one evidence of a kill that we have is there's a bunch of feathers in our backyard and just no associated bird yeah feathers we've got a call just a dark matters oh so all this talk about uh, animals um, and pit bulls and eating duck. Um, duck tastes good, by the way. <clears throat> I just want to share a uh, very... Ah! <laughs> uh, a very interesting thing um, that uh, may have nothing to do with baseball or movies. Whoa. hey Or may even take you me have the... away from baseball. <laughs> the super, the superfecta. Um, if you had the superfecta, we're sorry if you're, if you missed out. 
so uh, I got I get a I get a FaceTime from my sister earlier this week, and you might notice the trend on this, uh, Bilo. Uh, you remember my sister Jocelyn. What's um, up, Jassy? Jassy for Prez. Uh, I, I get a FaceTime from her, and as it as it turns out, it's not a FaceTime of my adorable nephew. Uh, although I do get some sweet, sweet nephew time in there. <laughs> it's, uh, it's my sister has for maybe the seventh time in the last 15 years accidentally oh collected a bunch of kittens. Uh, uh. How does so somebody you, 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 accidentally you, you, collect kittens? You remember this happening at least twice in in the decade that you knew her when she lived out here, where it was like, "Holy shit, did another cat just show up in their life?" Like, yeah, she 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 FaceTimed me and she goes, "Oh man, Hunter, you you cannot tell mom this, and it, it feels like I'm 17 again." I'm like, "You, this is the fourth time you've done this since you were 17." But anyway, it looks like I might be getting some kittens. You might be getting some kittens. This is exciting. Uh, because there's uh, there's six kittens. Uh, they're all siblings. They're not even old enough to uh, know what gender they are. Um, what the and, fuck is that uh, supposed to mean? Uh, it's uh, like it, even we, we were looking at like uh, to try and figure out what age they were. Um, apparently, uh, it's before the age where even vets can tell whether or not uh, uh, what uh, sex the uh, cat is. Mm. Um, and so, uh, well, that, that, that's the thing is I, three, three months is about when I would be going out there. So if the cats are still alive by the time I get there, I might be coming back with cats. Wow. How many? In which case? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I, it would be two. Uh, cause if I, I you, you want to uh, let them be socialized, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Especially if they're in the same litter, that's actually good. Yeah. No. Uh, in, in fact, uh, that's literally what um, litter. Uh, what what my sister did. Um, uh, two of the siblings, uh, Stud and Tigre, uh, lived together for like nine years, and it was a really adorable relationship. Um, and so, anyway, the only connection I can make this to baseball Ooh. is that I would bring it I around. I would have stopped on the way home uh, to go see a baseball game, probably on a drive home from North Carolina, which is where they are. But now I would choose to take care of these living creatures. Hey, heartwarming stories. That's great. Wow. The show just got nice. Yep. Wow, it's <laughs> For a real Ted Lasso environment, I've never felt more low energy Emmys. than this. I feel like Fred we're gonna win Stoller. a bunch of Emmys. Frank's Fred Stoller. Is it? Isn't this the bad week to be a Ted Lasso stan? Uh, oh, because Sudeikis. Oh, uh, oh, I have such a good offline story that I cannot <laughs> broadcast that I could put. We should get a Discord just for this story. Uh, it was very fascinating watching um, uh, someone, I think, uh, that uh, several of us know, trying to uh, talk about it without talking about it. Patrick. Oh. Am I losing weight? I think I'm just further away from the camera, Brother Wags. I wish I was losing weight. I'm just maintaining my weight within a three. I'm, I'm not... I'm um, look here. I'm just something's weird about my chair or something. Here we go. I'm the same. It's not. I think. I think it's also the black shirt. The black really, shirt. Like, it's so cute. Yeah, the very secret slimming. of the fat it's man. It's an the black ancient, shirt. an ancient. Bl and I was. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Clicking on the Wizworld Live Discord username. Don't I have a username for this? All right. 
I've never figured this out, but I'm going to try and join. I'm clicking on boats. Okay, re- real talk. Is a is a plane that lands in a lake, is that a boat? No, it's a plane. <clears throat> okay. All planes can land in water. <laughs> <laughs> so that would make all planes <laughs> boats. <laughs> Well, apparently I don't. Apparently I don't have a Discord. You gotta have a Discord. It's the. What should my username be for Discord? We can pick one out right now. Frunky. Frunky Girdman. <laughs> yeah, should, <laughs> should it just be Wizworld Live's name, which is very similar to my name? Farty. Gorfman. There we go. I am human. This is boring. You guys talk. I'm clicking on motorcycles. Is it humili- <laughs> as humiliating to you guys as it is to me to have to prove that you're human constantly <laughs> to an AI? I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't either. What? God, it's really... What, did I put a password? Dude, I don't know. This is taking so fucking long. What do people come here for? Why are you not talking? I don't know, it's a great question. Hunt, look. (laughs) How is it really fucking I, going? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? It's it's a it's a shitty week. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? My my uh, my my weird little chest on? bump. It feels like something out of a David Cronenberg movie right now. Is it the new David Cronenberg movie? Ooh. Kind of, yeah, because it's very chesty. That one. Yeah. The thing, that's fuck, the thing that's fucking me up is like I I like I've had surgery where it's like oh yeah you got like the bumps and the scar or that, but I have layers of hair like yeah, like you know like how like uh, geogra- ge- geologic layers come up and you can like tell what layer oh. something is. Like anyway, I have hair coming from different geologic layers of my healing. I, and yeah. they are all very weird. Um, hair is strange. Ha- you can really grow hair anywhere in your body. Like every cell in your body has the ability to, or like every epithelial cell has the ability to grow hair. And that means that like you can really grow hair, like just with a, a strange application of a, of of uh, what do you call it? Of hormones, like you can start growing hair, like inside your body, which is which is truly terrifying. I mean, yeah, that that's kind of the uh, the the worry with the cyst thing, yeah, that I have going in was is it full with uh, is it full of goo or is it uh, um, you know full of teeth? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope, I, I hope it, your cyst is not full of teeth. You know what I mean? That's, uh, oh, no, that, uh, that would be scary. Uh, and the oh, way it's teratoma I, where you, it just uh... starts growing random shit from your body, kind of like a stem cell or something. That is correct. So it yeah, could have, yeah, like, teratoma. hair or teeth or something. Yep, that's right. That's horrifying. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Okay, so when I, when I was in, uh, when they were, uh, taking my stitches out, they were talking about, they were like, yeah, it was, it was good that you didn't have that. But they explained that they had been gossiping about how much my thing gushed. You're a gusher, Hunter. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with being a gusher. Oh, yeah. Fruit gusher. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You, uh, I feel like uh, Steve Gutenberg should be in Teratoma 
tarantula. Sarah, there's got to be a movie about a teratoma, right? I feel like. I feel like. Yeah, I guess teeth was about was about vagina dentata, not uh, not about teratomas, but they're teratoma. it, it turns out they're mostly harmless. Oh, um, oh, which the, is... the, the one thing that the one thing that's popping up is uh, spoiler alert, malignant. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of malignant, dark matters. This is dark matters. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you for being the malignant uh, caller of, of Dark Matters. Well, I'd rather be a malignant caller than a benign uh, caller. That's right. I mean, even though we've had some malignant Wait. callers recently. Uh, I, I just wanted to say, by the way, do you have yeah. a cop uniform? Do you have a cop <laughs> uniform? I, I do <laughs> not. My friend, you are delicious <laughs> <to me. laughs> I do. I do not. If only, you know, if only. Um, I mean, come on, we have to admit, like, Pilo, you are looking great. We Sam. Am I? Oh, okay. Am I? I don't yeah, know. I'm still not sure if Sam is uh, real. The, from the mm. Venmo, thank you for that last week. Um, I, I saw a picture of you next to somebody who I believe is female. I open up the picture, and it is all just pixelated. Yeah. This whole Sam not being real thing. <laughs> it's true. I think it's it's me and my sister um, uh, taken at the uh, Imperial Palace in Japan. I'm pretty sure that's my Venmo profile picture because that's like around the time I got Venmo and started started flitting money around between between friends. So uh, you were splitting around yen. Uh, I suppose. I suppose yes. Good thing about yen is that it's like you know basically the same as uh, as the U.S. dollar. It's very it doesn't. It's not like the euro where sometimes it's worth nothing and sometimes it's worth a lot, and uh, it makes life more difficult. Do you mean euro? <laughs> That's right, le euro, or the euro, as they say le in uh, in uh, uh, Germany. Uh, should we do an investigation into Monica? Yes, a hundred percent. Because she disappeared. We... She left the complex. No, after. no way. Yeah, she doesn't work there yeah. anymore. It's two dudes that work there. Granted, I've never yeah. set foot there because, uh, you know. Yeah, you don't want to oh, get COVID. Um... I'm yeah. with you. Speaking of which, uh, do I go? did you know that uh, they are looking for a new member of the artistic uh, Oh, committee? I saw that. I saw that. What happened? Did somebody back out? Uh, it sounds like uh, the worst one uh, backed out, um, which I mean the lead? have been very brief. Who well, that? messaged me? I don't know who the worst you one mean, is. Yeah. I also had a uh, a snarky comment about who the worst one was. Chess Devil needs to apply to be the art- Chess Devil was artistic oh, director uh, of the oh, pack. Yeah, uh, I would Alan love to be the artistic Smith director. And, it's an unpaid Smith position. And Alan Johnson are still uh, artistic directors of the theater, and I'm totally fine with that. Do you, do you mean there's no other artistic director or managing director or whatever? Oh no, Grace is still the managing director. There used oh. to be a third artistic director on that panel who uh, okay. is no longer on that panel. Oh, and so I don't the need ones... to say anything about them. Who are the ones that are still there? <laughs> uh, oh, Alan and Allison. Oh, I, see. Uh, I have nothing nothing bad to say about either of them. Uh... I, I would love to be the Shannon O'Neill of the new pack. Oh my god. I mean, oh, who, there's the nobody more appropriate. Honestly, you're the number one fan. Yeah, with uh, Brother Rag, yes, I literally, over two years, I <laughs> you created one fan, and it's me. It's gotta be. Oh my god. We gotta start camp. We're gonna start campaigning for this. I mean, 
you, you you're now in the TNT group, right? You can uh, you can sign up on that Google form. Oh my God! Sign up, sign up. You, oh shit! This Google form. Hold on. Let's pull it up. Let's. Oh here, I'll go. pull it. I'll pull it up here. Let me find. Let's it. go. I think I got this in an email. Yeah. Again, I I I am not here to shit on Allison. I don't know Allison very well. I am definitely not here to shit on Alan. Alan is my co-host. I love dearly. The other person who left, uh, I am uh, so grateful uh, that I get to work with Alan and Allison instead. Oh yeah. ho ho! What are, what are some oh, your, I see. I see a name here. What are a some name of your complaints, I don't know. Uh, Hunty, with that person? Uh, why don't you just complain I, about I, a it, totally it, separate person? Yeah. Why don't you complain that? about Marjorie Taylor Greene or yeah. uh, you know, just, or it, it, I, uh, I, you know, I'm I'm so glad I'm I, I've I'm already past it and I'm uh, uh, I'm I'm not gonna get into it. But not every single That's... interaction I had with him was a negative one. Here we go. I found the doc. Let's fill out so, this doc together. So, brother, that's a good point. We are now Facebook friends. But holy shit. I joined it. Bilo, you added me. And within less than 24 hours, I was come to so many packed theater people who I don't know wanted to be my friend. Really? I'm like, what that's the weird. fuck is this about? Yeah. Maybe How many people, people are trying to. Yeah. There's a lot of people who own cop uniforms. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty popular one. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, this is the okay. inclusivity board application. I don't want this one. You know, but you should. I can't. I can't do any of these. No, I'm saying we wanted the artistic you can... director one. Yeah, yeah, but, no, the I artistic mean... director one was in the TPT group. Yeah. Oh, let's I see. go. There's two links. Here we go, baby. Maybe I'll run next Frankie for artistic director. Oh, that would be amazing. What's M E N? What's M E N A mean? That's new to me. By B -I -B Middle East, North Africa. Oh, um, I never heard that before. But I don't think that's what it is. Oh, wouldn't that be included I, in people of uh, color? I don't know. Do I sound like a grandpa it, now? I've just never heard that it, before. It's hard to yeah. It's hard to say. That to me, M E N A means Middle East, North Africa. But um, yes, Middle East and North Africa. Um, that's mostly in the context of business, uh, not in the context of, you so know. Middle East, North Africa, I guess, are not included in people of color, I guess. Anyway. Two, yeah, they're two, you know. We have till Monday, May 15th at 9 a.m. Okay, requirements. Hold on, let's zoom this up here. Basic experience using Google Docs. You got that. And Excel sheets. Got it. Marketing yeah. knowledge is preferable but not required. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, That's you everybody. Promos. Ability to provide clear and concise communication. Can, pass. Can do. Hard yeah. pass. Ability to be objective when making decisions. That's no. not what an artistic director does. An, an artistic director looks at art objectively and says, this art is, is the, the best, best art. One. This art's better than that art. <laughs> And then we give it a number. <laughs> Objective decisions. One year of show running, producing experience, not exclusive to the pack. Yeah, why would you want somebody yeah. who had any uh, affiliation Hello? with the pack theater? Have a desire to provide I mean, safe also, and supportive space. I, I feel like Chess Devil must want to hurt people, though. No, I, I don't want to hurt people, but, you know, I just want proper white men to do comedy five people at a time. Here's your responsibilities, Chess Double. Accepting and polishing pitches for new shows. Yeah. Scheduling shows and their optional tech rehearsals. 
yeah, sending anyway. all necessary show showrunner info to our other committees for internal purposes. Ew. Watching shows from time to time Issue to there. provide feedback and make decisions based on your. Oh analysis. no! Never, never gonna watch a show. Yeah. Routinely checking in with showrunners in order to discuss shows. Answer questions, brainstorm ideas. I know what is this? Making decisions about the continuation of pack shows and scheduling replacement yeah. shows when necessary. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so um, Fussy, unfortunately, you guys are now being dissolved. That's You're all just going to be part of whatever Jay Light wants to do. 100. percent I like it. Sure. Who gives a shit? Nothing <laughs> matters. Who cares? Sure. Yeah. Hey, remember now now we don't perform with our friends. How is the other team that we perform with? They're quite good. They are. Um yeah. Are they they're, better they're than fun Fussy? To, uh arguably. Okay, can I can I just say that uh Wizworld saying none of these seem to be setting an artistic direction for the theater, followed immediately by the schedule, is such an amazing I like that image a lot. What's this theater Wide about? Box. The answer is we will have shows. What? Um, that, also, I, I, I'm now charging double rent, by the way. Oof. You're charging yeah, double fuck rent? You pay me. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, pay me. Uh, oh, we, you're improv, you can do rehearsals? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, okay. your AC's not working? Fuck you, pay me. That's right. So here's what we need to do. Full name, email address. Tell us what interests you about the position and why you think you'd be a good candidate. What are your all-time favorite live shows from any theater and why? What changes would you act? Oh, my God, the changes. Somebody has to reference canceling our show. What relevant experience do you have to offer? Are you a member of a traditionally marginalized group? If so, which ones? Um, you're, you're a Democrat wait, what? pigeon. What? Yes. What? Oh, you're a Democrat and pigeon forge. That's how you're uh, marginalized. Yeah. I don't think I don't think that's that really makes you uh, marginalized. Well, I mean, I feel like blowing a cop from yeah, Craigslist way, definitely no qualifies fatty. under LGBTQIA+. <laughs> That's probably part of the plus, at least, at minimum. There is no such thing as being copposexual. Oh, I require all house teams, including the new sketch teams that are about to happen, to wear shirts that say, Save a Whale Harpoon or Fat Shit Shirt. I mean, who can who can argue with who can argue with that? D uh, the the yeah, I, I, I will say, money money penny does have something of a vision, uh, and I'll I'll give him that. Uh, even if even if we're uh, you know bouncing on some other things. The uh, the aggressive don't be boring. Yeah. Yet here we are. All right, so <laughs> so GS Light and Dark Matters is canceled? Hurtful, oh, but Oh, is that fair. what you're going to suggest? Hurtful, but fair. <laughs> yeah, put that. <laughs> no, 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 no. These are my star shows. <laughs> Fuck you, pay me. It's fun. I can't tell if Michael's video froze or if he's just that still. There you are. Am I? I, I should do more of this. I yeah, should you should just this. move from side to side. People like that. It's like how people who have never acted in a film before do this while they're acting <laughs> or a TV show, and it's like the first <laughs> gig. They just like move all around like this. And then they have to be That's like, no, funny. stand still. That's stand funny. still and don't move. That's how you do film acting. And they're like, wow. 
Rack, 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 there's, rack. There's, like there's a, this incredible shot in uh, Gangs of New York. Um, that movie. Please, Fred Heroes with twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there, it, it's, a, it's a shot in Gangs of New York where fucking Daniel Day Lewis is like almost stabbing the kid from ET, and you're like, holy shit! If this method actor had to somehow stay in frame and stay in focus, yeah, method acting is bullshit. Otherwise, ET kid would have been killed. Yeah. So I got. To- I got real baseball. Yeah, they should use a real baseball bat and really kill people. They should. They should. That's what acting yeah. is about. It's about enacting the thing. Hey, you guys hear Fred Savage got fired from the Wonder Years? I did, I did that. hear that. For for bad behavior, apparently, Har- harassing behavior of some uh, of some sort, and not nearly the first time. Yeah, wait, Chess Devil, did you fill out the application? No, I don't have a link. I definitely will. Oh, here, I'll send you the link. Yeah, I, th- I thought you were going to fill it out on screen as Chess Devil. Oh, you want me to Yeah, do- I mean, you can fill it out. I mean, fuck it. All right, let's Everyone f- who I am, fucking, so I'll give it out. My, I'll box myself, whatever. All right, let's fill it out. Wait, this is, has my email address. At this point, if you're one of the 12 people who don't know who I oh, am. Oh, it's going to submit. Here's stuff. the problem with this. It's going to submit it as my email. You have to do it from your email. Okay. I can do that. Ah, what just happened? Here we go. We're back. <laughs> That's why I can't do it. It'll submit it as me, and then you won't get the emails. Great question, Brother Wags. Shadow Director, are you, are you Team Depp or Team Heard, Bilo? Oh, I honestly, I have no understanding of this, and I don't, like, I would assume that, like, you know, Team uh, uh, Heard, I suppose, is the, the team that, you know, is... It, I don't. I don't even. Care. I mean, it's just. Uh, but I, I, I can don't know. Step in. I don't know. I've literally watched thirty-two hours of this court case. All right. We now go to our. This is Dark Matters legal analyst, Chess Devil, with the inside oh. scoop. There you go. Oh boy. Hi, uh, Chess Devil here. Uh, so there are multiple, multiple instances of Amber Heard being a piece of shit just on video alone including the new current one of her quote-unquote sniffing cocaine during a question. Uh, There's also videos of Amber Heard posing for photographs, wiping her nose with handkerchiefs or, or claws, and then wiping her nose after the fact because it's just a prop. Uh, are both uh, parties in this uh, lawsuit bullshit? Yes, 100%. But it's funny. Wait, did Amber Heard, they're saying Amber Heard did cocaine in the courtroom? Yes, as it, even as a former, former friend of the cocaine, you can definitely tell she was doing a key bump. Wait, so this is this is speculation that many people have said, or this is something that you discovered yourself in your 32 hours of watching? No, is this no, an exclusive? Uh, m- multiple, pe- multiple people. It's on TMZ. I watched the video today, earlier at the bar, and, it, and like I'm saying, as somebody who was a friend of, of, <laughs> of cocaine, uh, it definitely looks like she was doing a key bump. If you can find the video, you'll see. All right. But the yes, Mother Robin says it correctly. They are both. Multi millionaire win or lose multi millions of dollars that we will never see. I, I mean, I thought it was all up on the screen in Pirates 5. Uh, Brother Wags, there have been many 
where the jazz looked at the camera and given a Jim Halpert face of like, yeah, you do both suck, case dismissed, but I'm able to do so. Okay, here we go, here we go. So here's T TMZ. The sniffles is what this is called. Here we go. Here's the video in question. Now, if you could analyze this from the um, perspective of somebody who's used cocaine before, I would appreciate that. Uh, no, but I will analyze it from someone who loves cocaine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even better. Great. Uh, hold on. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. So just from the uh, preview pic, uh, you can see she's holding a nostril. Um, that's also used when you've done a lot of uh, sniffing of drugs because the cavity in your nostril is blocked up and you can no longer use that cavity. Got it. So, so you're saying the cocaine has blocked the nostril so much that she's got to hold one closed? Is that what you mean? Uh, any type of, uh, if you sniff any powder into your nose, be it mess, be a cocaine, at one point that cavity will block up and you can no longer use that cavity. Um, interesting. Yeah, she's also dating Eve Barlow, which I think is who which is, I think is fun. That who is Eve Barlow? Eve Barlow is a journalist who's sometimes called Eve Bartlow by uh, by <laughs> Seth Rogen. Um. Uh, who? I, don't know who this person is. I think her main t claim to fame is some like rather uh, trashy, uh, like Israel can never do anything wrong type, uh, oh, type sure. quote unquote journalism. Um. Well, and yeah, let's look at the sniffles. This video from TMZ. From quality website T TMZ. Quality website TMZ. With the state of mind. Hundred percent. Full quality. Uh, dark matters. Uh, dark do we matters have all of our jugs that we're drinking water from? Mental condition. It it doesn't. It's still hearsay, Your Honor. May we approach? With the state of mind. Should do it. So in now. that in that moment, she's supposed to be doing doing some cocaine. Does it Mental again? condition. Oh. All right. It it doesn't. It's still hearsay, Your Honor. Okay. May we approach you? Chest double. What's your analysis? What's the yeah? Break it down. So okay, she looks down. She's now went to her left nostril, sniffed, and then used her hand to wipe off her nose, even though she had a hanky in her hand the whole time, which is the sole purpose of heal. Here we go. I'm trying I'm trying to scroll through here. Here you can yes. see down to the left. Down into the left. Now to, to Jay Fleshen's point, there's also a clip of her pausing with the tissue looking at somebody waiting for what we believe to be a photo being taken and then takes the tissue down like for about five seconds holding the tissue your nose. But this is definitely someone who just did some sort of inhalant and uh yeah We're talking poppers, amyl, amyl nitrate. Oh, here's another. No, she's not oh, the... fucked in the ass, by a little you both you can <laughs> Did Mr. Okay, this Depp is the second sniffing here. You. So... Here we go. This is the second time. That's what I'm talking about. The wish to go photo. So, so go back, go back. Look at the pause. So th there's a flash of light. She notices the flash of light, waits before 
a couple seconds to hold the pose. Here we go. Look, look, she looks, sees someone taking a photo. There's the flash of light. <clears throat> and then she wipes her hand on her nose again. Okay. okay. Um, so the wiping, so you're saying question. because of the handkerchief, yeah. the purpose of the handkerchief is to wipe your nose. So why would you use your hand when you have a handkerchief? Is that what you're saying? Yes, but also in this specific clip, look at her look towards the person taking the photo. All right, let's play it. Let's play it full screen. You can see her eyes look towards somebody. Pull up 272, please. Oh, yeah. And after you both returned to L.A., did... Like, she wanted to she get that photo... She wanted nose. that photo of her with the tissue or something? Like, that was a yeah. photo they wanted? That... Let's watch that again. Yeah. Yeah. She, if you notice, she brings it to her face, looks to her left, sees someone taking a photo and because of a flash, to LA, waits several did... seconds... Mr. Brings Depp the hanky down to her lap you. and so then Michelle, wipes it with her face. Oh, Would they play it twice. I could have just played it. I, I, but like, why does she want people to think that she does cocaine? Like, isn't that? Well, no, so this she wants to seem cool. No, no. <laughs> this specific clip here. This is not the cocaine clip. This specific clip is purely a photo op for her. So it's just but who's like, taking the photo? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anybody who wants to clip this, someone is taking a photo. Her whole thing is she's not the bad person. If they wanted to win this case, uh, Amber Heard's lawyer should should not defend that she's the bad, not being a bad guy. She's not. She's completely innocent. Even though there are audio uh, clips of her hitting Johnny Depp, saying, "I'm not punching you. I'm hitting you." She, they should have gone into this saying, yes. Did she do some bad things? Yes. She did assault our client, you know, Johnny Depp. What is really happening is he is an emotional junkie. He has done all these things to hurt her character. But they've gone down the route of she is completely innocent now. So the only defense that they have now into the public's eye is that everything she does is sad. You can watch the whole trial. She has the same fucking face, no matter what's happening, of this, huh, what? I'm not a bad person. I'm sad. I'm the abused one here. This has nothing to do with, um, you know, uh, abused women. No one like that. Cause if, if, if someone is abused, I'm 100% to support this person. This is about an uh, egomaniac. Uh, egomaniac, whatever the term is for it. It, and and you can see this happening. Um, I, I'm, 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 uh, you, you can't, you can't uh, do that. That's like with uh, Kleenex versus uh, uh, like tissues or Band-Aids versus bandages. You have to say uh, pre-packaged frozen waffles instead of Eggo. Okay. I, I'm not... Uh, to, 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 to Wiz World, sorry to cut on your pen. A little serious. Uh, to Wiz World's point, I'm not saying John Depp is a nice person. I think they both are pieces of shit. But what's happening here is you you are this 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 is a case about somebody who uh, uh, I'm a little drunk. I, I'm before I make the more the next words I'm gonna mute myself. But they are both pieces of shit. A lot of suspense right now. Yeah. Of, okay, so this is a this is a case of of two pieces of shit. One who needed a career boost decided that Me Too mo uh, movement was that point to make it. I'm not saying that that Johnny Depp did not abuse physically or emotionally. But this other person is not innocent, and I do believe Amber Heard took this situation to their career. If you watch a lot of this trial, 
uh, there's a lot of factual evidence that backs that. Wow. On the phone, we've got legal analyst, the chess devil here. Hey, I would rather I would rather have legal analyst, the chess devil, than Honestly. than practically anybody else in the We're biz. We're gonna have uh, child rapist Alan Dershowitz. Who? <laughs> <laughs> We're on the phone with legal expert and child rapist Alan Dershowitz. <laughs> How uh, epic would that be? If some <laughs> see some of uh, Don Lemon said that or something. Oh, yeah. uh, there was a girl in my high school whose claim to fame is that Alan Dershowitz was her second cousin or something like that. That's a boring claim to fame. Well, uh, we we did date. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Alan Dershowitz, please please get Alan, off the line. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> you sound a lot like a friend of ours. Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, I I gotta do what I gotta, Dersh. Do you? That's a, oh. you don't have. You shouldn't have a catchphrase. All right, you're a famous <laughs> lawyer. Yeah, Alan Dershowitz prank show. <laughs> yeah, is that was that the big idea? Was that the idea you don't want to you, you don't want to say because you don't want it to come to come true? Yeah, well, it's uh. I'm really uh, working hard. With, okay, hold on, hold on. Good. Did crank Yankers doesn't really work with it, but uh, Candel Camera, yeah, Candel Camera with Alan Dershowitz. Well, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Wait, uh, it's 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 like a prank show with Alan Dershowitz. No, I understand. I mean, I understand. Well, what's the, the first word of it? Can- yeah, that was also Can- Candel Camera. Candid Camera, but with Al. Oh, Alex. canned owl camera. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> I thought you were saying candle camera, and I was like, candle. I also thought it was candle, candle camera. camera. What is this, a, a Barry Lyndon uh, reference? There you go. Movies, 20 bucks for whoever had movies. There we go. Barry um, Lyndon. You referenced the movie. I know. If people I, I, had were, movies. I'm, I had movies. Uh, I know I did. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> betting on me, though. Okay, can I... I know for you had an idea for your next show. Can I pitch an idea for your next show? Sure. The yeah. Dark Matters Bingo. Okay. Oh, I think we've so, done so this. I think we've actually of... done we've done this before, haven't we? Ah, damn it. Uh, yeah. But well, keep going. We... Yeah. <laughs> well, say we just pull up everything. So, like uh, me blowing a cop on high and cocaine. Hunty talking movies, baseball. So you have to mark it off, and then the winner gets something. Yeah. You know, like a mug that will never happen gets sent to you. <laughs> Wait, Bilo, did Hello? we do that? I thought we did do that. Did we send people a mug? No, I mean a bingo. Uh, we did something for the super for the Super Bowl. We did like a fantasy a fantasy football type uh, a show for the Super Bowl um, a while back. Um, and I forget what the what the prizes were. How have we not done a show called Fantasy Football where we have people in football outfits out like play out people's fantasies? <laughs> oh, it's dark matters. <laughs> yeah, we'll so just run the audio porn to, for the rest of the show. To see dark to to see Frankie and <laughs> Michael, the two hosts. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the idea of a hall pass? That's how that starts. Uh, Remember, he refused yeah. to do a gay one for us because it would hurt yeah. his brand. So I don't he... think that's. I don't think that's true. I think it just you know. Uh, it's what he it's said. Like, I bet people will pay for gay audio porn. Um, and like that's his opening bid. To, to see how much you will give him for gay audio porn. I don't know. I told his opening, him... His opening bid is, you're damaging my brand. I guess, but then I ended up just paying him less to do the straight one. That didn't work. You're op- you can't be... I'm not... Well, he said he wasn't comfortable doing it. Yeah. I mean... That's a that's a great it's a great uh you know you can feel like you're seducing the, your audio porn provisioner into um 
I still haven't gotten my Juche Couture shirt. That's got to be disappointing. I probably guess I probably didn't order it. <laughs> Maybe I thought I ordered it and I didn't order it. Um, I feel like it would have come by now. I think that's probably right. But we don't have the ability. Uh, Juche. We don't have the ability to make merch anymore. Whoa. Yeah, it's cafe press. Yeah, we'll just do our uh, do our own store. What would Sam say is the sexiest thing about Bilo? Wow, great question. It is a great question. Uh, honestly, despite what despite what what uh, Brother Wag says, I think it's my voice. Wow. So when you're making love to Sam, do you have to like answer her like demand the form of a question? <laughs> Uh, That's not really. Follow-up question. Uh, Could Sam guess all of the boats uh, in the AI test? Let's see. Are you texting her? Is she awake? I don't know. Uh... You think she's more awake or less awake than Chess Devil's mom? Uh, let's see. It's only 11.28. I bet she's more awake than Chess Devil's mom. You want to hear the fucked up uh, response here from my mom? Yes. Well, okay, it's not fucked up, but just the way she refers to. It's okay, Chess Devil. If I didn't have the bug, <laughs> I'm and I didn't have to get up early, I would have talked to you. The bug? Wouldn't she have COVID? Who fucking knows? She she came over to the house just <coughs> to cry and say, please don't go to Los Angeles. Uh, and then ask me to fix my niece's Chromebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> I get that. I feel I I recognize <laughs> um, being asked to fix your niece's Chromebook. Uh, I will say, Mrs. Devil and I had a come to Jesus talk at the bar the other night. Just, you know, see where we're at. Yeah. And she straight up called my mom a cunt. And I'm wow. like, yeah, go for it. But she is. How did, how did that go? You know, I actually had a question. Uh, Mother of Garblin asked me uh what the what the deal is with mrs chess devil how how is that how did that come to jesus talk go let's get personal we so like um how because we've been in the uh, edge of the relationship i I'm kind of okay so it was good so mrs devil just had her big 40th yesterday congratulations wow and uh, I mean, we're, we're do, we've been doing better, <laughs> and we're enjoying our company now. Um, this is the fucked up part. Is the, so I sent her flowers, but we had to come to just talk about a lot of things we didn't do. Uh, it still only ends up about Los Angeles, but this is the relationship. <laughs> These are the people we are. The best part of her fortieth birthday was the bang bang at the end where we're coming home um and i was like you want burger king she's like yeah let's get burger king so we get i buy a burger king and then i'm like do you want taco bell also and she's like can we so we fat fucks ate burger king and taco bell and then fell asleep in our crumbs <laughs> no no that sounds like true romance it's 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 but more no, than a little we, bit beautiful. It's we're doing we're doing a lot better. Like there's there's been a role change in the relationship. Like she was the one making money, she was the one working all the time, and now with the, the new position, I'm doing this, and she's not Walgreens anymore. So she's not used to not being the leader of the family. Uh, but it's going good. it's going good. That's good. 
Yeah. So you're saying we can't get any inside info on uh, COVID vaccines anymore? <laughs> it doesn't seem like we need it, though. No. No, no unfortunately. It was a different time. But if you want a goddamn hot tub, I got good deals on hot tub and hot tub supplies. <laughs> how, how do you think <laughs> Cetera... <laughs> Yeah, it might be, you know, it might be nice to replace our uh, hot tub with a smaller hot tub. <laughs> Apparently the woman who used <laughs> to live in our house used this hot tub as her office. She was like a financial planner and like literally would do her work in the hot tub and it was full of papers. That's what my neighbor told me. That's amazing. So it's like a giant hot tub, but half of it, it doesn't have like seats. I mean, you've been in there, Bilo. How would you describe yeah. describe my hot tub? It's I don't know it's like one of those uh uh you know above yeah. above ground hot tubs that's like uh it's uh, what it's like uh the it's pretty big I don't uh yeah it's like a pretty big pretty big hot tub um with like lots of lights <laughs> And I would say that's like the main, the main thing about it is yeah. that it's got a lot of lights, a lot of lighting in there. Yeah. I would say that the most important thing about the hot tub is the people that you share it with. Thank you, Hunty. And that's what the an honor it was. was. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question. How much money did it cost to clean that hot tub after uh, Hunty was in there? And then buy those goddamn Korean soup. <laughs> My uh, Korean food. It's highly uh, zero dollars, right although I did change out the water, but mostly because I do not maintain the hot tub very well, and I don't really use it. Stephanie uses it, but she can't, when she's pregnant, she can't use it, so she hasn't been able to use it much the last, you know, few years. So, uh... Every time I want to use it, I have to completely... You can't go in the hot tub if you're pregnant? No. It raises your body temperature. You, you don't know about boiled baby syndrome, by the way? I don't know about <laughs> boiled baby <laughs> syndrome. Yes, Hunter Epic Twitch Gaming. We've done, we have had a hot tub show on this show in June of 2021. Uh, it was Bilo, myself, and uh, Hunter in the hot tub. And uh, I, we can have two It hunters. was the first time yeah, yeah. we had seen each other in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, we could cook a baby in that thing. But anyway, yeah, so I have to empty it and wipe oh, it baby. down. <laughs> and then refill it with water. It's very wasteful. It's 450 gallons of water or something. Hey, man, I got a line on what's called eco tubs. Okay. Same. Honestly. Well, no, California, you got, you've got, there's got to be a new water rights ban or whatever. That's right. It's right. I'll, uh, yeah, if you yeah, eco hook, tubs. hook us up with an eco tub. Hot tubs, etc. Peter Forge, Tennessee, for all your eco tub needs. Yeah, I'm sure they ship. I'm sure they ship cross country. <laughs> oh, I see hot tubs, etc. Pigeon Forge hot tubs. I see it right here. I I I uh, I got a question for uh for uh the hot tub question. Yeah. What? Does the Breaking Bad thing ever happen in real life? Uh, Is that when a refresh chemistry me. I teacher... haven't watched Breaking Bad in a while. With, yeah, with the, uh, the acid thing where it either like goes through the tub or okay. he uses... So that was a acid. real tub. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's ceramic um, and, and hydrofluoric acid um, which will uh, eat through bones. Uh, I don't know about I assume it'll turn you into into jelly, but the important thing about hydrofluoric acid is it'll eat your bones. Um, yeah. Oh man! Only if Big Jim would call in and tell us about drug using, <laughs> or how to make drugs. We need to we need to channel him again. Oh, see, this is what I need: this Echo Spa, this four, because our hot tub right now is like an eight person hot tub or something. It's insanity. It's very it's very big. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's very big. Uh, we just want like yeah, we should just get like a four person one, and not take up that much of our space. Anyway, that's just me. 
legitimately. We should talk about this offline, but if you're looking for a future for your kids, you might want to buy a cabin in Pigeon Forge. If I what? If I want what for my kids? Hey, you know, a future for everybody. Um, maybe look at buying a cabin in this town. Um, Wizworld knows how much they're going for rental-wise. Oh, you mean just to, just for money? I thought you were like implying like California's going to dry up and we're going to all need to move to Pigeon Forge because you won't be able to survive out here. You just mean yeah. I'll make a ton of money <laughs> renting out a cabin to tourists at yeah. Pigeon Forge. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, Pack Theater or Pigeon Forge would be okay. so amazing if we licensed wait. it to Pigeon oh, Forge. So, there's actually. There, go on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I was going to say, there used to be an IO East in North Carolina. It's the craziest fucking shit in the world. So, so where the Hot Topic Center is, there's two theaters. One person who does a Red Skelton tribute show, and <laughs> then there's. Yeah, another not... one next to it. No, this why, is 100% why? true, by the way. Why would people do this? Why would you want, Why would anybody want to watch that? <laughs> they do, and it's still open for many years. I was uh, walking by it to take a big dump, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, I was thinking... You know what? I could probably open this up. Maybe get like an improv troupe here. Maybe call us with the charges. But the pack east is a goddamn genius idea. Pack east. Um, you know, you have to compete with with uh, noted noted pack theater correspondent Brian O'Connell. Is he opening a pack east? No, but. He probably will will try to sue you for for opening the pack east oh, because he'll claim it's it's like I'm from North Carolina. It's my oh. idea. Oh, North Carolina, oh, North Carolina School of the Arts. Dave Gore Green was it a class of the one time? <laughs> but there's two rules about doing something in business. You should know this by though. You got to be the first or the best. And guess what? The pack east and Pigeon Forge is going to be both. Wow. Bold, bold I mean, there's already a theater in, I want to say Chicago, called the Pack Theater. That's what, it's because people like a Pack Theater. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it does. That's Pack Theater, <laughs> re.com. Oh no, we own Pack Theater, re.com. What was Pack, what was the other Pack Theater called? I have no idea. I bet we could do Pack Theater Margaritaville. <laughs> Like a combo? Yeah, whatever. Well, They're opening another murder. The other pack theater is within gone two away. miles of the last one. Wolf pack theater. Can, can we open a pack theater in like Disney World, like comedy sports did? I mean, I feel like. Wait, Hunter, are you talking about the Laugh Factory? No, I, 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 thought, I thought it was comedy sports, like a Paul Shear thing like 20 years ago. Well, yeah, so it was, but it's called the Laugh Factory at the defunct Pleasure Island. Let's not Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think, I I can, I can, they, they went to, um, they, they went into, um, in New York, the, uh, the Chicago Improv Theater in New York, which had nothing to do with Chicago. But they went to them and saying, hey, we're going to open up a comedy theater in Orlando with Disney. The person who, ever, who ran that, I forget their name, went and was like, yeah, that's no problem. We're going to charge you an absurd amount of money. And they're like, okay, cool. No, thank you. And they just went to everybody that was working at the Chicago and just said, hey, we're just, you want to work for us? They're like, yeah, go for it. Huh. Uh, Should we open up a theater in LA called the IO Theater? And how would we differentiate it from the the original IO theater? It would just be called the IO theater. I th I mean, there doesn't seem to be a reason why we couldn't do that, right? I guess somebody, some corporation bought IO, huh? Some corporation did buy IO, yes. So they'd probably um, sue us. But it's like, um, it's Dennis Miller's brother, isn't it? Isn't that like the the 
lead investor is is Dennis Miller's brother. Is that true? I thought re- wait, real estate guys bought UCB. They also they bought, bought the they bought the UCB theater. Um, no, and then I, the Goog- the Danny Guggenheim partners or whoever buy. Uh... uh, yeah, that's what is it? Guggenheim partners or is it? I thought it was somebody maybe different but yeah you're gonna have partners does sound or no no it was wasn't it the dodgers entertainment arm or something yes that's right here's your workaround you call the io spell it e-y-e-o-h yeah the problem is io destroyed their brand like they spent the entire pandemic just absolutely destroying (laughs) any positive thing that you would have to say about io like maybe like nobody heard nobody had heard of it before and like other than comedy nerds nobody will miss it as like an institution um hey remember when we called sharna halpern on the show and she picked up I do remember that. I don't remember. See, that's got to go on the clip reel. I don't remember what she said, though. Give me the episode and the number. I got it for you. Dude, uh, I'll talk to you off the air about it. It's such a... I'm such an idiot. I'll just say it here. Why would I do it off the air? So we're recording these episodes in video files, and I've done it so that there's four tracks of audio. So I'm on one, Bilo's on one, and then the music's on one, and then the callers are on one. Uh, So we have these like we have these like four gigabyte video files. But the problem is, if you just have the way if you try to play it in like a player, uh, it only reads the first two (laughs) channels. It doesn't recognize the other two channels if you just try to play the video so you only hear me and Michael and you can't hear any of the callers or anything so it sounds like we're talking to nobody and uh, the only way to fix it is to like bring each episode into like Adobe Premiere and like remix the four channels of audio or like just it's a pain in the ass I gotta like wait what file are they saved under what do you mean like, like, Can I batch process MBI, them? MBI yes, pr- yes, probably. But then I would need to just do it. I would need to do that and <laughs> sit down and do it. And it's like I also need like a giant. I need to get a new hard drive because it's we have like almost a terabyte of dark matter shows or something crazy like that. Hell there's, yeah! There's also somewhere I left the video. I left the recording going for over 24 hours. Like I have a a 40 gigabyte dark I'm looking at one 35 gigabytes because it was just oh wait here's one 104 gigabytes dark matters dot xvid 64 dot co dot uk we'll just put our shows online the problem is at least time. In the program I have like media encoder they don't have a like the ability to like to like man like automatically like combine four audio channels into like one audio channel that I could find and I, I don't know but but, but the video file what what type of video file is it uh it's a it's an mp4 yeah you just strip that audio which uh, <coughs> I could do for you if you want yeah I can just send Here's you all these goal. videos it's, it's, they're it's, fi- they're all like between me, I- three and four six gigabytes of video is the only thing so it's just a lot to download yeah i'm, I'm, but... I'm gonna i'm gonna get dark matters to be sponsored by me on these all right i That's love the it the whole goal uh, can we get it sponsored by an underwear brand that has um flies in the underwear i hate me undies you can't fucking get your, <laughs> you gotta pull your dick over the top of the band oh that's a good topic well, hey, we got we got four dicks on the call we going over the top or through the bottom. Welcome to Dark Matters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't have enough the, length to go bottom. through the bottom. Through the bottom. Easy. So I uh I bought I bought boxer briefs. Uh 
I didn't realize they like grip you on the bottom of your leg. It makes me feel like I have fat legs. Have you never worn boxer briefs before? I guess I've only worn boxers before. Or like I, I had underwear that I thought were boxer briefs, but I think they are just plain normal boxers. Well, wait. Wait, what do you mean though? Like boxers, yeah, boxers don't have a cuff, so they don't grab your leg. Yeah. Did These you just grab... learn the difference between boxers and uh, boxer briefs? I think so, yeah. But I, I, I have a follow-up question. Have you seen uh, A Christmas Story? <laughs> um, I don't think I've seen A Christmas Story. I know, I, I know the the Dickens book upon which it is based. Oh, am I thinking of a different one? Wait, which is the one with the leg? Christmas story. Yeah, the leg man. Yeah. Daddy Devil has one. And Jim's friend. Thank you. Thank you, Wizard. Okay, I will, so I will I, try so I ask for it. Okay, well, what, does this oh. have a point? Oh, we're talking like the leg lamp. Uh, it just that to me is like, oh yeah, because that's the shape of legs. So of course that's how legs work. What? But your leg is weird. What? Hold on, I don't follow. The Wait, leg lamp okay. in a Christmas uh, story. No, the yeah, leg lamp the is in kinky is boots, like... isn't it? No, the leg is lamp it? is famous. It's like, I haven't even seen a Christmas story, and I know that the leg lamp is in a Christmas story. <laughs> yes, it's a Christmas okay, so... story. He gets a prize. Oh, you, you won. Shit. It's fragile. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. This is a Christmas story, okay. not a Christmas carol, which I am, which okay, is what I was yeah, thinking of. Yeah, I thought of. I was going to... Yeah, so I'm, I'm just picturing that leg right now, and I'm just picturing, like, yeah, that's what legs look like. So just picture that's what legs look like. And your legs should be fine. Dark matters. What do legs this have to do with matters. testicles? Yeah. I don't know. Is this the paranormal show? Yes. This yeah, is it's the so parano paranormal I that mean, we've been talking from... about uh, boxer yeah, briefs. I got jerked off by Bigfoot. What I was that? I talk about it. <laughs> You got what by Bigfoot? I got Bigfoot? tripped off by Bigfoot, and I want to talk about it. Great caller. Uh, let's hear about it. It was scary. I thought he was going to rip off my balls. Well, I guess oh, I should my. rewind. I live in Utah. That's okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's it's beautiful country out there. It's not usually big feet there. Yeah. What part so of Utah are you in, in caller? Uh, I live uh, Deer Valley. I live on Deer Valley. I'm the caretaker. Oh, that's cool. I'm. Uh, it's a it's a skiing. Uh, it's facility. not cool. It's for rich jerks only. And if you like it, you're probably a rich jerk. Uh, you're you're not wrong. Um, <laughs> I've never heard of this. Oh, I see. Deer Valley Resort in Park City, Utah. Okay. I think I think it's they like an, a skiing only place. Yeah, exactly. I think that is that is anyway, basically their stated their stated thing. Anyway, caller, there's a big sign that says "white snow only," but they cover up the snow as much as they can. Uh, anyway, that's... wait a minute. <laughs> it's not usually hooting up here. Of any kind. But there it was. Big. And then a lot of like low grunting. Like. And I thought, uh, a couple of rich kids. I took out my gun and I fired indiscriminately into the shadows. It, 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 and why? It why? Going, yeah. So I must have missed. So I must have missed. And then out from the woods comes this tall, beautiful creature. Twelve feet tall. Hands like pumpkins. The biggest ball sack you've ever seen. Hands like pumpkins. Wow. That feels Swinging. like they wouldn't be very flexible. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> I wouldn't think so, but the things he could do with them. My goodness. Twelve feet tall. So, this, so I, 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 and, and how tall, how tall are you, Carl? This, this, 
This this person four foot. was, you know, I'm sorry. You're how tall? Four foot. Four foot even. That's right. Oh. Even Steven, so, that's what they call me. So three. Four foot even. So you are so the 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 Bigfoot is three times. I, I was gonna assume two times the size of you, but but three times is even uh, is even times. bigger. Yeah, um, and his balls were at least ten times as big, but his penis was so small you could hardly see it. I've heard Crazy. I've heard that if you have really big balls, it shrinks the size of your dick. But I don't I don't really know how that could be true. I think so. I've heard Maybe. I've heard that's a a thing. Like you have too much testosterone. That's a question for the philosophers, I think. What was it? Like, why would it shrink your dick? Cause it, you have too much testosterone or something? Possible? I possibly? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a thing. It makes sense to me, but I ain't no doctor. I'm just a caretaker who got jerked off by Bigfoot. All right. Well, what? Well, uh, was there any? How did you know that Bigfoot wanted to to jerk you off? <laughs> he had. Um, uh, let's see. Have you seen that that movie? Uh, oh boy, Love Actually. Sure. You know when he comes to the door and he's got the signs. Yeah, the end of the end of the movie where he tries right. to seduce his his so best friend's Bigfoot wife. Bigfoot walked out of the woods. Luckily, all my bullets had missed Bigfoot, and then with his big pumpkin hands, he he, he reaches behind his back, pulls out a little boombox, he sets it down and turns it on, and Christmas carols start to play. And he reaches behind his other back. He's got two. And he had signs there, just like at the end wow. when the guy's being a real psycho, like you said. And it said, uh, nighttime is the time. And he turned it for for coming. He, he turned the next one. Would you like? He turned the next one. Hand job. He turned it from Bigfoot. And then he <laughs> turned it again. It was a question oh. mark. Oh, so wait, we, we, we got a caller. Yeah. His, his name is Bigfoot. Wait, we, we, we got a caller. Oh, 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 he's getting horny. Yeah. What sound he makes? Wow, that's the wolf. So he does the wolf, horny wolf sound. That's interesting. He does. He does yes, do the horny his, wolf sound. His head even turns into a big steam whistle, and his tongue rolls out on the floor. Yeah. Oh, my tongue is down. Oh, my tongue is down. This is frightening. This is just. I'm. I'm scared. By the way, are you scared? I am scared. Um, but. Oh my. I'm gonna go. I I don't want Bigfoot to find me. My genitals are horribly mangled forever from those pumpkin hands. Uh, <laughs> this is, these are not pumpkin hands. Oh. My hands were unfortunately in front of pumpkins due to this debate on Halloween night. What happened on Halloween night? Uh, uh, we were doing a debate for the presidency on a show called Chris Gethard show that I uh, believe the caller would have got the reference and did not. And, well, uh, we've, got, we've got another call. Back, Bigfoot, back, stand back, away back. with us, Bigfoot. Dark Matters. This is Dark Matters. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? No, this is this is, uh, this is is Hunter. I just wanted to see what it would be like if uh, everybody who was watching the show was on the call at the same time. So, <laughs> call in. We have a capacity. Yeah, right. We have the capacity. We have. Honestly, we can get up to like sixteen people on this thing. So, we... oh, okay. when I heard when I heard this voice, I was for a split second. I was like, "It's David." I was hoping it was David. We have a I caller really... named David, who's a random guy from North Carolina, I think, who just calls us and just goes, "Hey, oh. it's David." <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, no, sorry, I'm not David. Uh, and I, I feel bad that I sound like him. This is a real wake up call for me. No, we love David. No, yeah. that, that's what I sound like. David, oh, like okay. really no, do. no, you don't sound like that. That's what David sounds like, and we, oh, we're gotcha. hoping it was David. Yeah, David, if you're listening, yeah, please call. call. Give us a call eight one eight six five. You know the number. Um, anybody, anybody seen some any good movies lately? 
Uh, so like, uh, I watched Sonic <laughs> Two. <laughs> Bigfoot, uh, Bigfoot watched movie, Sonic Two. Okay. You know who else? Bigfoot, likes... you watching? Uh, how you getting? How you? How, how do you? How do you watch movies? You just go in. They let you in. No, so like, <laughs> like anybody in the movie these days, huh? <laughs> so no, there's just cabins and then whatever they have on Netflix in pirating or Tubi, Tubi. You know Tubi. We we like Tubi. Tubi. <laughs> Tubi doesn't enjoy the uh, enjoy Tubi. <laughs> I just love that. In order for, I, for us to commit to I, this I no bit, we just have to have gr- <laughs> we have to have grunting like What's every Tubi? five seconds now just to commit to the bit. <laughs> Wait, what is Tubi? I don't know what that is. Tubi is like a, uh, a very, <laughs> very shitty Netflix. Oh, okay. So like Netflix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a slightly worse Netflix. What's a slight? Uh, what's hey, a Bigfoot, s- is there a Mrs. Bigfoot? Uh, I'm just curious. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So this is just this is. I know she's, she's at work right now. We've had a lot of Bigfoot. We've had a lot of. Is this just what happens annually? Chaos. There've been a lot of Bigfoots on this show. I've got to say, this okay. is the horniest Bigfoot I think we've ever had on Dark Matters. Well, wait, we did have during oh, a, our bad. live Bigfoot episode. The Bigfoot expert said he saw, he heard Bigfoots <laughs> having sex, right? <laughs> He no, it, it was like oh, when he, was, he having was having sex, sex and Bigfoot watched and Bigfoot, him. Bigfoot, Bigfoot watched him. Yeah, because yeah. Bigfoot's a, a sick, sick voyeur. So his tracks. Oh wait, uh, <laughs> no, not Bigfoot, not Bigfoot. <laughs> My name is Cuban Pete. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm the king of the <laughs> rumble, Pete. When I play my maracas, I go chick chicky booms. <laughs> Hey, can I, can I tell you guys my time loss story? I Please. don't think I've ever told you yeah. guys my time loss story. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Because this is like a paranormal show, right? Yeah, ostensibly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> when I was a when I was a little kid, uh, my my parents were divorced. And my dad picked me up, and we were driving back home. And this was when I was still living in Fresno. So. Uh, we were driving back home, and it was really late at night. I remember it being like maybe, I remember it being like, oh, I guess not really late. It was like about nine o'clock. And there's a there's a particular uh, highway, freeway, in Fresno that kind of like there's this big curve and kind of like it, it's basically the thing that runs up and down Fresno, just gets you from point A to point B. Mm-hmm. And so we're kind of like taking this big curve. And I just remember kind of being in the front seat with my dad. My dad, you know, he, he's driving. And the car started filling up with light. Like um, like when somebody just, I don't know, it was like if somebody just started slowly, like, shining a spotlight into the car. Okay. Uh, and I remember it getting so bright that I couldn't, like, see my hand in front of my face. And... I couldn't see anything, but I could feel the, like, you know, when you're in a car and you can feel the car moving, right? Yeah. yeah. So, like, I could feel the car moving. We're, we were also on a turn, too. So, like, I could kind of feel, like, that weird, like, G-force of, like, turning left. Uh, and so it was just, it was just bright. And it was just really, really bright. And I couldn't see anything. And I, I remember trying to, like, say my dad's name and I couldn't hear what I was saying out loud. Uh, I, I remember moving my mouth and I could like feel my, you know, lungs making the words, but like, I couldn't hear the sound. Uh, and then all of a sudden, like all the light came back. I could see my hands. Like I looked down, we were still on the freeway. We were still moving. And, uh, we were like at the end of the turn and, uh, I looked at the clock And the time was all of a sudden like 2 a.m. Like we had lost like five hours. And this is like, it's just, it's like a small turn. It takes like two minutes to do this like big left banking turn. And we were like in the same spot. 
And I just remember looking at my dad. My, uh, my dad is like a pretty chill guy, and he he was like completely white. He was like so he was like flush. And I, I was like, "What? What happened?" He was like, "You can't tell anybody about this. Don't you ever tell anybody about this?" And I was like, <laughs> just really kind of like in shock and really Jesus. tired. So I like I, I just went to sleep, and I never really thought about it. Um, and of course I tell people, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it, it's something that really happened. I tried to look it up, and I I feel like I've tried to figure out like. Cause I can't, I can't even, I mean, I was a kid. I can't exactly remember the exact date when it happened. Yeah. I just remember I was, I think I was maybe like, I don't know. I want to say I was in like maybe middle school, seventh, eighth grade. So, so what, what happened, what happened basically is you were, you're driving sort of around this, around this sort of slow curve. Everything mm-hmm. went white. And then well, I also, five, and yeah. then many hours I, later, you sort of reappeared around the curve yeah it was i mean the other thing too is like there was no traffic in the road it wasn't like i was like trying to remember i remember that being really weird about it too is that Mm -hmm. there was no traffic because it's i guess it's not that weird like fresno usually dies around eight so like there there's hardly even people on the freeway at around nine um but i was like I remember, like, just sitting in the car and us driving home, and I was like, did we almost get hit by a car? And I was, I don't remember that, because I would have yeah. seen a car on the road. I would have remembered that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Is kinda, uh, Have you ever talked about it with your dad? Uh, I don't talk to my dad anymore. I, I, I actually, that was, like, one of the last couple of years I saw my dad. Oh, crazy. Uh and I think I think it'd be really weird to be like, "Hey, Dad, I haven't talked to you in twenty years, but do you remember when we uh, were abducted?" Or... <laughs> yeah, it might uh, be a good way to start the conversation, you know, if that's if that's what you want to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Real icebreaker. Yeah, um, uh, but yeah, that's crazy. And so, but do he you... had the same experience as you, basically. I mean, he told you never to talk about it, but you guys both. So it's not like you fell asleep or something. You know, like, you guys Not both like, had the same experience. I just definitely remember him being, like, really panicked. And I feel like I don't... You know, and eventually, like, you know... I, I was a kid, so I just did what my dad said. I, I never talked about it again. And I feel like... But then, like, I thought about it a lot. But you know, I didn't really tell anybody. I, I was a kid, so I just did what my dad said. I, I never talked about it again. And I feel like... But then, like, I thought about it a lot. <laughs> uh, somebody yes caller please please leave your radio on next caller uh, uh, caller i mean that's from us i didn't really think about that night and so i just caller please caller this is the dark matters who's the culprit <laughs> is it caller there we go it was hunter <laughs> Other hunter it was other. It was me. No, it was no. other hunter. Uh, long time, long time caller uh, <laughs> and long. baseball and movie lover hunter M. Altman. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I guess I shouldn't say. I guess I shouldn't say that. Um, but I believe that's his. Uh... But anyways, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, that's first crazy. time caller. Love the show, guys. Uh, well, th- thank you Wanted for calling in. I'm. I, I mean, it's a. Uh... I don't know. I hate to. I hate to dig into it because I feel like I feel like I'm opening up. But it sounds like. I mean, it sounds like a highly traumatic experience. Like it's a. It sounds like a highly traumatic experience that you don't really have like a, a recollection of. Like, I mean, to, maybe. Uh, yeah. I mean. Oh, I see what you're saying. Let, like, I mean, let's just put your cards on the table. I mean, it, me. it's, it's fine. You can say it. If that's what that is, what it, <laughs> that is what it sounds like. I feel like I've thought about it, and I feel like if I thought about it, and that's what really happened, it would have come it to the have surface. Appeared to you, yeah, yeah. It would have appeared to me. the The white light would have vanished, and all of a sudden, my dad's hand on my lap. Also, it would have been a weird place to not to be graphic, but it would be a weird place to just start doing that right when you're about to be on a giant curved yeah. road for two minutes. 
<laughs> he was taking me uh, home. He had ample opportunity to do it anywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I, mean, I, I hear you. I hear what you're talking about. I mean, about. It, it just that that paired with the paired with the reaction, paired with the 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 reaction, like you you can never tell anyone well, about this. So like, because uh, it's, yeah. it's hard to explain because this bank, it, it's it basically it happened when we were on the lip of it, and then it it, it was like. I mean, we never got off the freeway. It was just always right there on the freeway. Yeah, it just time went forward like five hours. So I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I, I mean, really it's, it. yeah. I, I mean, it. Uh, I think like if you if you've you know been able to interrogate that yourself, I feel like I. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a psychologist. This is not a. This is not <laughs> a therapy show except for except for for Hunter and for me and and to or uh, yeah, yeah. Not for Hunter and for me. I meant for Frankie and for me. But uh, I think that might have been a Freudian slip on uh, on on my part. Um. Um. Uh, as the caller uh, seems, I have seen fire in the sky. I have not seen fire in the sky. Yeah, that movie creeped me out when I was a kid. Good. That'd be funny if I was just remembering fire in the sky. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's a scene in it where a <laughs> like dad is. The one time I yeah. seen <laughs> Yeah, my. Well, there's, I mean, there's also this traumatic event I had when I was a kid where, um, Mr. Burns was trying to put a bubble over the entire city, and so uh, that was tough. what I had to do with my yellow family was, yeah. Oh, Auntie! Oh, here we Are go. you here? Oh, yeah, we're getting out of here. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> we're all getting out of here. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, have, a, have a good night, guys. Thanks for, it's, thanks it, for letting me uh, call. A really good talking to you, Hunter. Uh, uh, what a right. creepy story. That's crazy. It is. It is a crazy story, and the kind of stuff that we love here on Dark Matters. How cre- how creepy is it that the Simpsons are yellow, but yet there are still like people of color on the Simpsons? Like that's there, like yes. how racist the Simpsons is by basically saying that uh, white people are the default. <laughs> like, it's true. It's true. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you if you look, there are examples of people of uh, of from. There's an, a guy from the Indian subcontinent. Yeah, like, why isn't looks... Apu yellow? Yellow? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Uh... Wait, yeah. They, they, they fired, what's the face? They, they didn't fire, but he's no longer Apu. Correct? Yes, that's correct. I'm just ta- I'm just talking about how, uh, how strange there are, it is. How... That there are... Yeah, the Simpsons are literally have a fake skin color that doesn't exist, but yet they have like black people on the Simpsons. So, like why? Like, why? Like, why do they need to be their skin color, but the Simpsons can be yellow? Like, it's a hell of a makes question. Makes no sense. They should just all be yellow, or they should just be Matt, all Matt Groening and Well, Matt Groening is confirmed to be, I guess, a drunk with fucking uh, very bad liver disease. That's jaundice, my friend. Everyone in Simpsons has jaundice. Alright, I'm hanging up now. Alright. Future Peck, artistic director of the Chess Devil. Chess Devil. Hold on. Hold on, mate. Hunty. I've unmuted You know, him. there is a... You do have to... The old artistic director does ex- exact a... Prima Nocta from the from any new artistic director. That's true. Yeah, you have to get give her peanut butter. Um, <laughs> um Wow, it's twelve eleven in the morning. What a, what a great Happy story Mother's Day. Mother. Happy Mother's Happy Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mother of Garblin and all the mothers out there. All the moms. How many moms do you think listen to this is Dark Matters other than my wife? Um, uh, my mother-in-law occasionally yeah, uh, she, listens. Yeah, she wished me well when I was when we went into the show one week. Yeah. Um. Uh. You know, that's it. Uh, no, Jay Fleischman is is of course a mother. Oh, of course. How could I forget? I'm glad that they're not I, in the chat uh, right now. Um. <laughs> so they didn't hear me for. I have that. Hot, hot Alyssa gossip. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
spill the tea. Oh, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, Michael? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, she posted that, that she is apparently the official blow-up dinosaur T-Rex of the TikTok campaign for Jurassic World 3. Okay, you'll have to I did say see that. that. Again. I didn't consider you'll that. Have to say I that didn't again. consider that really, really <laughs> newsworthy, frankly. <laughs> well, for me, it is. I, mean, I haven't had anything go right in years, and she's the official T Rex. Yeah. Does this, do you feel drawn to her now, Hunter? Does this feel now that someone you know is a, the official dinosaur of Jurassic World? I mean, I feel like that's got to be pretty huge. Oh, I, I mean. I, I, I can tell you 100% the answer is I recently found out that someone I know works at the uh, the Jurassic World uh, at Universal and I go there less now and that's part of it because it's like well that makes it fucking weird Is this the same person you invited to your um, first GSY <laughs> coming back after that date? No oh. <laughs> it's Not like sure how, how angry your note was, Hunty. I'm sorry. It was a good. It was a good note. A strong, a strong uh, point to that. Whoa! That, hold on. Oh no, I, I misclicked. I thought you guys just pushed me to rift tracks. My bad. You all right, Hunty? I hear you breathing there. Oh, I put my phone in a weird place. Uh, I, so, I also... like, I've been <laughs> sleeping fucking weird because my first, you know, the fucking chest surgery. And yeah. Then I fucking threw my shoulder completely out of whack. So now I'm laying very weird on my chest in bed. All right. Yeah. Bilo, my arm hurts. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, Frankie's arm hurts. That means the show's over, people. But, well, it's not over until... God, I need to have this loaded the whole time. Hold on. We got this. Oh, and so your show's live next week? Oh, yeah. 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 You know what's I crazy? Mean... I have a flight leaving Sunday morning at 5 in the morning. <laughs> Wait, is the show really live? Because this is now the third month where I've had to almost buy a plane ticket. Well, I thought we were going we were going to like email all the people on the show right now. Yeah. To like set yeah. it up, but let's just do that tomorrow. Okay. But yeah. If we can figure Watch out how show. to do it. We need to do tech. We need to get in there and do tech, too. Yeah. Because I don't know if... I assume we can physically do it. We have all the gear still. Yeah. Why not? We'll stream a, pre we'll stream a pre-show. You know how we never knew what to do before the show? We just hang out randomly? We'll just yes. stream, uh, a we'll stream a pre-show, and then... We'll get the audience warmed up. Yeah. We'll get the audience warmed up. We'll get, we'll get our candidates warmed up. So I expect you're asking every thing. all nine people watching the show to watch the show and then drive <laughs> over to the New Pack Theater to watch it live. <laughs> that's right. You know, put it on, put it on while you're driving, or or uh, or take the city bus. That's that's what I do. That's I, what I do. I, like I take the, the city bus. Los Angeles city bus. That's I'm right. Next to week, with Mr. Devil about that show. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Candidate. Debating polit political candidates. Political candidates. Good night. Ever